Hello focus, Leon here. I am as of today, two months and one day on testosterone. I started on March 13th. I hate actually the fact that that's my tea date because I think the number 13 is just so difficult to say sometimes. I just get all jumbled up with my words when I try to say all those T's and THs. 13. I did it now, so I'm happy about that. I had to practice last night. But let's get into the changes because one month one more month has passed now and changes have happened obviously because that's what testosterone does hopefully they don't just inject me with salt water which i was scared about like what if they just trick me and i don't get ending up getting changes i was scared about that but obviously they're not going to do that uh, so yeah changes have happened first of all i wanted to mention because i forgot to mention this last month is that my pee started smelling and looking differently as well at like two weeks on tea it became more yellow for some reason even though i drank just as much water as before so i tried to up my water intake but my pee in general now is just more yellow so i don't know what's up with that but i think i should maybe read up on the liver or something anyways it, it also started smelling stronger but i've gotten used to it now so i don't really care it's not bad though obviously that would be then i would have to like go to the doctor or something but my voice uh, i'm gonna do the voice update now hi my name's leon and this is my voice pretty hey my name's leon bell and this is my voice one month on t hi my name's leon and this is my voice two months on t i think there's a small difference uh not much obviously yet but i think especially when i try to sing uh, and i go high i just can't they just won't come any noise out of my mouth at all which is weird because i normally well before i think it was like three or four years ago i sang soprano so like the highest literally the highest note uh, but um, now i can't do that anymore like nothing will come out it's just squeaking basically and voice cracks also they started happening right after the one month mark so i didn't get to include that in my first video but basically like literally one or two days after my one month on testosterone back in april i started getting voice cracks and they have kept happening but i feel like i have a bit more control now not much obviously because i'm still pretty in the beginning phases of starting and being on testosterone so they do happen but not as much because i've gotten used to having to speak more so from my chest in order to make the voice cracks not be as bad but some days they are just off the charts and going on pretty much like in every sentence it just sounds like a constant voice crack which makes me sound dumb but it's all right because it's changes you know and i'm gonna end up getting a deeper voice so that's great also, let's see, yeah, hair, on my head, nothing has really happened, but I do have like a snail trail coming in now. I don't think my eyebrows have gotten thicker just yet. Maybe, but I don't think so. Like they are slightly filling in, but not enough to make a huge difference, I think. So my snail trail is coming in. I have more hair in my butt crack. Uh, <laughs> I do have more hair on my legs as well, on the back of my thighs. I never really had much hair there. I had some on the front of my thighs, but never really on the back of my thighs. So that's the thing now. And also more hair on my chins, yes. Um, slightly more hair on my arms, like it goes a bit further down now than it did before. And it's slightly filling in, not much though. At around six weeks on team, my mum started noticing like getting more hair, especially like hair. Uh, so my beard, my beard is gonna happen, which is cool because I'm 19 years old and I haven't really had to shave yet. But now I have to shave at least once a week in order to not get, because I now get like small black hairs not just peach fuzz it's actual black hairs so i'm gonna have a black ha black beard even though i'm literally blonde and i dye my hair dark uh, so i'm kind of happy about that because i wanted like a salt and pepper beard one beautiful day i'm gonna have a gorgeous beard that's gonna be amazing uh, so yeah that's it for hair changes i also actually have hair on my toes now i did have a like, two hairs probably before but on my big toes especially it's like actual black hairs now which is a bit weird like i'm getting hairier but it's nice also in terms of my butt because i i do have a lot more hair like in that area now not a lot obviously it's just been two months but it's more and like it's spreading it's growing but i do have more pimples on my butt as well some i never really had any before but now i do have some 
<laughs> which is a bit weird, but I don't really care. Also, the first one and two weeks after my shot, because I got my shot now three weeks ago, first two shots were six weeks apart, and then now until the next one, it's like nine weeks. So, 12 weeks between my shots, unless the doctor starts saying something else, which might make me have to take the shot every 10 or 14 weeks. But we'll see about that when that time comes. Uh, so yeah, more pimples the first two weeks. But then my clear skin clears up, which is nice because I like having clear skin. Obviously, I do have more spots now than I used to, but it's really fine and manageable. So I hope it doesn't develop into anything, but I don't think that's in my genes. So because I never really had a lot of spots before, just when I abused my skin and ate really unhealthy, which I don't, so I try to just keep my skin clear and take care of myself, drink enough water and all of that jazz. My mood is still... I do have that same change as on one month on tea, I get annoyed and angry rather than sad, or when I feel sad it's more of an empty feeling. But that's also, I think, I don't want to say like too definitely about this, like, I don't want to say that this is for sure, testosterone causing this because being at home it's really weird after not having lived at home for four years and being back here living with my parents and everything and not being with my friends all the time so I don't want to say like for sure that that's what's causing my mood to be when I'm feeling sad or angry it's more of an empty feeling but um, because maybe that's just depression coming in from being without your friends for way too long, but obviously it's starting to ease up now in society and everything, so I hope it's going to be possible to meet people again, it's just gonna be nice. When I do build muscle now, because I still obviously work out at home, I don't have to work out as intensely or as often as I did before in order to sort of gain the same results. Uh, so obviously still, we, since we don't have gyms open at the moment, that's really nice because I don't want to stop losing muscle or like stop gaining muscle uh, because gaining muscle is something that's made me pass much better and it means a lot to me because it's also a symbol for me on that I've been able to stay consistent with something which is something I really struggle with so building muscle has still been something I've been doing on testosterone and it's easier now than before um, I obviously look forward to the changes coming with that as well because it's gonna get easier I'm gonna get broader forearms and everything and look more masculine which is a, something I really want you know I want to pass well and also building muscle is really just exercising is good for you so obviously yeah so there are a couple changes I've got which is I have more hair on my upper arms now but also I'm more sweaty when I work out which is fine I don't care but basically I can't wear t-shirts for two days now anymore. I have to sh change after one day uh, unless I'm really sedentary and don't really do anything and I can wear them for two days maybe. <laughs> uh, but also, which is a fun change and obviously weird because my libido has gone up on tea uh, that hasn't really changed since the first month at least. But now I have more control over it in a way because I've gotten a bit used to it. But now the way that coming feels like orgasms, the build up to coming uh, it feels different on testosterone and it feels more comfortable for me because I'm not gonna like it instead of being like a whole body thing uh, which is the way it was for me before and I've talked with some friends about this as well now it's more located down there like in your bottom growth also my bottom growth has kept growing but instead of like the head growing the shaft sort of has become bigger now this month so TMI, obviously, but who cares, because this is supposed to be informational and for you all to know what's going on when you start testosterone so that none of you make any dumb mistakes starting on testosterone and it's not for you. Um, but yeah, so coming feels different now. Uh, no, actually, the build-up feels different and that makes me comfortable enough to actually come because I was never, I, I was never able... I was never able to come before because it felt too uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video there because th those are the changes and uh, we'll see you next month. Well, obviously next week. But yeah, also my face has gotten a bit thicker, I think, which is nice. Yeah, to do fuck is I hope you take care of yourself, eat food, drink water, get some sleep whenever you need to sleep. And um, yeah, to do. Bye.